Hello everyone, my name is Jamal Hukuru. Uh, I am based in Freiburg, Germany. Uh, I am a member of the European Galaxy team uh, and I am one of the system administrators behind uh, uh, usegalaxy.eu. Uh, today I will guide you through a tutorial that uh, will show you how to connect uh, uh, Dropbox account to your Galaxy server. From uh, the version uh, 2009, Galaxy has uh, support for different file storage backend like uh, Nextcloud or uh, Dropbox. And uh, um, this tutorial will help you to set up the connection between Galaxy and Dropbox. And this will permit your user to add their account details and then access the Dropbox data within Galaxy. So here I am in the web page and the repository of the Galaxy training material. Uh, is a, that is a collection of tutorials developed and maintained by the Galaxy community. And we move to the Galaxy server administration topic uh, here, clicking this link. Uh, the tutorial of today um, assume that you know how to use Galaxy, how to use Ansible, and uh, that you have um, a Galaxy server um, up and running. If not, there are uh, two tutorials here. The first one is Ansible, and uh, the second one is this one that describes how to use Ansible to install a Galaxy server. And uh, <clears throat> I have my own Galaxy server here that is uh, obtained using uh, all the details described in this uh, tutorial. Um, so is, um, the tutorial of today is this one, um, distributed object storage. We can move inside. Uh, this tutorial is all about how it, um, it's possible to add an additional file space to your Galaxy server. Uh, you can add the different kind of uh, object store described in the first steps of the tutorials, or also a remote object store like uh, an Amazon S3 or something similar. But today we are focused on how to add the Dropbox account to your uh, um, Galaxy server. So we can move to this section. Okay, so we have the tutorial with a lot of instruction. I have my Galaxy server here ready to be configured. And I have also here a shell into the host that uh, um, is, serving the, is serving Galaxy. So um, here we can see what we have in the um, home of the Ubuntu user. I uh, directory galaxy, we can move inside. And here we have the playbook, the Ansible playbook that uh, has been used to deploy this uh, galaxy server. So with what I will do now is to extend, to modify this playbook to uh, configure this Galaxy server to allow the users of, the, of this Galaxy server to have their Dropbox account, their Dropbox details into uh, their own Galaxy account. And uh, from that, uh, use uh, the upload tools of the Galaxy server to reach uh, files and uh, directories that are in the Dropbox uh, account. So um, first of all, <clears throat> we need to add uh, several uh, new configuration files to the uh, to Galaxy. And uh, to do that, the first thing is to create uh, a new um, uh, new directory. This one, files, galaxy, config. Okay. And then inside, <clears throat> I create a 
a new file called file sources conf.yaml. Uh, these files um, contains uh, the instruction for the Galaxy server um, describing how to uh, use uh, the, 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 drop, the Dropbox details provided by the users uh, to uh, access the Dropbox account of the users. Okay, you can find the details uh, of the files in the tutorial. Then I need to create uh, mm, another files. Um, instead, this one is called the user preferences extra And uh, this files, this file contain Uh, the instruction for the Galaxy server to add the new um, um, new box in the user preferences uh, in the Galaxy account to uh, allow the user to put there their Dropbox access token that uh, we need to uh, access the Dropbox account from, into, from the dropbox.com website. Okay, so now I have these two new uh, configuration files and I need to inform uh, uh, the galaxy project dot galaxy ansible rule uh, where I want uh, this file uh, to, to reside to where this file need to be written. Uh, to do that, we need to extend, to modify a bit uh, um, some variables in the group vars uh, directories in the file uh, galaxy server dot And uh, <clears throat> in particular, in the um, galaxy config section here, We can add here um, the new instruction. Okay. We need to remove the plus. Okay. Here we are. Here we are. So um, we add two new option to the Galaxy configuration, uh, describing where those two files are. And then, <clears throat> even in this file, we need to um, add a new section here, for example. Here the details. Once again, I need to remove the plus. Okay. Uh, yes, we have an array Galaxy config files um, describing uh, which files we want to put where. Okay. So we have updated the galaxy server.yaml file. We can move on. Now 
we can run the playbook. And uh, at the very end, uh, we should see uh, in the output log uh, something that uh, indicates us that uh, Galaxy has been restarted, if everything is OK. OK, the playbook has finished finish to run. And uh, we can see here that the uh, first step changed. So uh, the playbook succeed to uh, install all the details that uh, we have added to, to the configuration. OK, now <clears throat> from this point on, we, I can change my hat from a system administrator to a normal user. And I move to the uh, Galaxy server. Here, <clears throat> I'm logged in and I uh, can move to the preferences menu. And uh, here in the manage information uh, sub menu, in Windows, window. I can see uh, the, the box that uh, we had before to add our Dropbox account, in particular our Dropbox uh, uh, access token. But uh, <clears throat> before that, <clears throat> we need to, to, re to retrieve our uh, Dropbox access token. Um, in the tutorial, there is a, there is a, a link here uh, to this uh, Dropbox guide that uh, describe describe in details uh, how you can you can do to obtain uh, uh, an access token. Uh, but uh, very few words, you just need to move to the hub console. OK, that uh, I have here. I'm logged in. So we need to create a new hub to, uh, to connect our um, Dropbox account to the Galaxy server. So uh, now we need to select the level access of uh, our hub. We can choose a specific folder or a, a full Dropbox uh, access. I can choose uh, an app folder. I can call um, this app with the name of the Galaxy server. So here I have gate GAT06. OK, we have our new Shining Hub here. Um, before to create the access token, we need to fix some permission to this app. We need the, the files, metadata, files, files metadata read permission and the files content read permission. Submit, OK, permission updated. So we can move back to the settings. And uh, here we can generate the access token. So going back uh, to the Galaxy server, 
I can put here my access token and I can save uh, I can save the page. Um, yeah, I'm opening here um, my Dropbox.com uh, account in particular. I can go into the apps folder. Um, where I have uh, to get 06 directories because I created before the help, but so the, the right one is uh, this one. Uh, and uh, yeah, I upload a file from my notebook. very small uh, BAM file. Okay, here I am. So going back to the Galaxy server, now we are ready to uh, retrieve the, the BAM file that I just uploaded into my Dropbox account through the Galaxy upload uh, interface. Here we have a new buttons new button called the uh, choose remote files. I can click on it and uh, I can see now here a voice that uh, uh, suggests me that uh, I can uh, uh, reach my Dropbox account from here. So clicking on that, uh, Galaxy is using the access token that uh, I have uh, saved before to access the dropbox.account and particularly the directory uh, of the hub that uh, we created before. And uh, here we can see the, the BAM file that I just uploaded. So I can click OK and I can then start the upload. I can close the windows, the window. And the Galaxy server has begun to upload the, the BAM files. And uh, it's very, very small BAM files, so in a few seconds uh, has been uploaded. And uh, here you can see uh, the details <clears throat> of, uh, of the files. So in a very few steps, uh, we have uh, updated, we have uh, extended our Galaxy configuration, uh, allowing any users of your Galaxy server to uh, update their own details uh, about uh, their Dropbox uh, account into your uh, uh, Galaxy account. And from that, uh, uh, they can uh, upload uh, any kind of file from Dropbox to the Galaxy server in very few, few steps. Um, so that's all for this tutorial. I want just to remark uh, something. I can I need to ask you to, to give us uh, your feedback, as you can see in the, at the end of the page of the tutorial. This allows us, this allow us to improve uh, uh, our materials. So please uh, come here and uh, give us uh, your feedback. That's all. Thank you for listening.